Within a radius of 100 miles of Miami, Florida has every depth, color, and type of fishing water. From the deeps where lurk the giants of the sea to the two-foot deep flats of the Florida Keys, fishermen try their skill at everything from sail fishing to fishing. Every year, hundreds of thousands of work-weary and fun-seeking tourists flock to Miami Beach, Miami, to the Gulf Coast of Florida, and to the Florida Keys in search of the sun. Miami is fondly remembered by millions of fishing enthusiasts as the birthplace of the oldest and largest fishing contest of its kind anywhere in the world. The Metropolitan Miami Fishing Tournament, held from mid-December through mid-April. Sponsored by the Miami Herald, the leading newspaper of the city, the contest was founded over 23 years ago by the late H.H. H. Hyman. Today, it is the world's largest fishing contest and most widely publicized. Let's take a case in point and see the kind of an adventure that can be experienced by a typical young couple. Their big day was at hand when they arrived at Pier 5 to find their captain, the first mate, and the 40-foot boat all ready to take off through government cut and out to the blue water of the Gulf Stream. Jack Thompson had read in his hometown newspaper about the famous Metropolitan Miami Fishing Tournament and was secretly hoping that he could catch a prize-winning fish. Even if he didn't, though, he knew that whatever he and Betty caught could be entered and that their hometown newspaper would get a report on it. On the way out, the first mate had explained to them the general method of fishing in the Gulf Stream, how to free spool or drop back and then set the hook and the reason for the ice which he is letting down now. The bait is let out about 75 to 100 feet and the angler's line is clipped in a clothespin and run out to the tip of the rigger pole. If a billfish hits the bait, the line snaps from the clothespin and the slack allows an automatic drop back. On out to the Gulf Stream now and down to the business of finding some fish. The Bonita Strip is working just right in the water. There's the boil, and Betty's line snaps from the rigger. Drop back to him, Betty. Okay, he's got it. Crank up your slack and set the hook. It's a nice bull dolphin, and Betty's in for some fun. Let him go. Dolphin are stubborn fighters, and even after practically jumping themselves to death, they'll hold stubbornly just out of reach. But Betty has whipped her fish and chalks up the biggest one of the day. Jack told the captain they wanted to go out again tomorrow. He had the universal thought of every angler. Tomorrow, my luck will change. So once again, the mate instructed Jack what to do in case a billfish took the bait, how to free spool and set the hook. The captain had decided to work south today, down towards Fowey Rock Light. The mate begins to rig his baits as they go out through the cut. Today he's going to try a combination, one line with a bonita strip and one with a ballyhoo. There's a fish after the bonita strip. Okay, drop it back. Looks like a billfish, too. Drop back some more. He's got it. Set the hook. It's a sailfish. A beauty. Look at him go. He really knows he's hooked.
Hang on to him. He's taken off again. The sailfish is a fighter right down to the last ounce of his energy. Slender and graceful, he is spectacular in action. Leaping, turning, twisting, somersaulting, anything to throw that hook. He's a challenge to even an experienced angler. Now watch this fish jump. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one of South Florida's most treasured angling prizes is voted for entry in the Metropolitan Fishing Tournament. The victory is raised, and proudly, Betty and Jack head back for Pier 5 to weigh and register another contest entry. Congratulations are in order, of course.